Welcome to Todd Bosley's world famous YouTube channel. Today we are at the Peters Church Cemetery in Marlboro Township, Ohio. This is a cemetery that sits out kind of in the middle of nowhere. It's a small cemetery, probably somewhere around 100 to 150 graves. You can see the footprints. Those are mine. This is the second time that I've done this video. My whole video was wiped out just as I was approaching the stone that I want to talk about in a little bit. This is really weird. Um, so here's the story. Apparently, around dark, there is a stone in the cemetery that people routinely come here to see. And I'm showing you, this is a picture of my truck. I'm pulled off the road, so I'm not in violation. But as cars come down this road, they'll stop. And this is a dangerous place to view this stone. Um, so if you do decide to come to this cemetery, make sure you're off the road or pull up into the driveway so that you're not where you can be hit or put anyone else at danger. The stone that I'm gonna take you to over here is the stone that is rumored at night uh, to develop a face. Now this has been going on for a long time. Uh, when I was in high school, this was the cemetery to come see. I've never seen it, so I have no testimony to tell you that this happened. But as I was filming this, I've already been through the whole graveyard. I spent uh, more than 20 minutes on this. And when I got back, just as I got to the stone, the whole video was wiped out. It might be a coincidence or it might not be. Anyhow, um, I'm a little, a little shaken. This is the stone. Hopefully it's still recording. It says it's recording. But this is the stone. It stands probably somewhere between seven and eight feet tall. It's the stone of Mary Whetstone. It's hard to read the side of it. It's a very ornate stone. It's beautiful. This is a cemetery that is um, in Marlboro Township. Not exactly sure who manages it, but it is definitely in disrepair. I know that many townships have had hardships trying to manage uh, graveyards. There isn't a lot of money for that. But I'm gonna, I'm gonna head on down and show you some of the other stones that are here. It's, it's a very beautiful place for sure. As you can see though, a lot of these stones, late 1700s, um, all through the 1800s, then uh, there's some in the 1900s, but not not a many. It doesn't look. Uh, this is one of the newer ones from 1903. <laughs> um, I'll give you a little view of the road out here. So th this is a declining hill. So as you as you're coming down, you're coming downhill through all of this. And it kind of goes down. So if you do come to see this, you definitely want to stay off of this road. There just isn't much room to pull there. And my business, you probably can't see it very well, but it's over there in those buildings. And so I can see people here at night routinely stopping by. Now, I won't say it's every night, but it seems to be like there's a lot of traffic here. Uh, for whatever reason. I don't know if it's haunted or not haunted. But I will tell you what just happened to my camera. This, this is a new camera and I've used it for uh, probably the better part of three or four months. And I've never had a problem like that before. So I don't want to perpetuate anything that may not be true, but it is a little, little weird. And the place, if it just feels eerie. It's out in the middle of nowhere. It's very beautiful. It's just, it's just weird to be here. Um, I'll show you some of the, we'll get kind of get back on track here. I'm, I'm a little rattled, but I'll show you all of the different stones. Very nice, well-built stones that are still here. It is, it is fairly windy. It's about 18 degrees. It is freezing cold out here on a February day, 2021. I'll take you through some more of the stones. And you can see how fast those cars go flying down this road. So please, oh, check this out. This is a stone. It looks like it has an animal on top of it. 
I can't really read the stone, but it's probably a child's stone. Maybe that's like a replica of one of their animals. That's weird. I I'm sure some of you will know what that is. I've just never seen anything like that before. You can see how some of these stones are getting turned and twisted from the wind and wear. This is a pretty neat one here. This is a farewell to my husband and children. There's a lady there. It appears like her name might be Worsler. I'm sure some of you watching may have relatives that are in this cemetery. Yeah, you definitely can feel it though, I have to tell you. It's, you can just feel the, the cold wind blowing through you. You can see how the snow drifts up all over. Wow. Now this cemetery is a little bit different because um, it's, it's very populated on this side and then there's almost like an open area. Oh, here's a stone that was knocked over by the wind. You can see how some of it's grown up. These are my tracks that I walked through before before my film got all wiped out. I should have brought my snowshoes for this. Here's a really old stone. Appears to have maybe have like a hand or something sticking up out of it. Now, this part, you can tell these are very old stones. This is the grave of Michael Boston. But then you get into this area here, where there's hardly any graves. And then you have old graves, markers like this. That's been there for quite a while. I'll show you kind of what Hopefully that wind's not too bad. I'm sure in the summertime it's very beautiful out here with the fields and the woods. And now we're in an area where it doesn't look like anyone was buried. Let's go look at this one back here. The snow is really frozen. Oh wow, look at this. This is kind of the edge of the cemetery. Looks like someone planted a hosta. His stone's pretty worn out, but his name is Jacob F. Mack. J Jacob Mack. That's an old stone. I'm still trying to figure out how I lost my film just before I got to that stone. That's really weird. I'm trying to think, is there anything that I did, but I didn't touch anything, so. Hmm. All right, we're gonna go to the back of it. This is the far back part of the cemetery. My face is freezing. It is very cold. So a lot of this was just not utilized. As you can see, there's a lot of area that just has not been used, but it doesn't look like it's still an active graveyard. More old stones. This stone says Wilson, Joseph, Oh, here's another wet stone. And I believe that's the same stone that's up front. This one is probably newer. We're just kind of heading to the back. Laura Esther Preston. She died in 1904. To the far back here. A 
This is Nellie's stone. And then this is kind of the back of it. Okay. It's a beautiful place. It feels a little eerie. Oh, we have a stone up here. Let me show you this real quick. I think the bush has overtaken it. Yeah, it's grown in the bushes. Well, hopefully someone can get this cleaned up. I was able to remove some large branch branches uh, from a couple of the graves. That's what I hope somebody would do for me. <laughs> if I'm buried somewhere and there's a big, big uh, branch on my grave, come take it off. Uh, what goes around comes around, hopefully. Um, I hope you'll come check the graveyard out. Probably better in the summertime. Just please be careful. It's not worth taking a chance. Get off the road if you come up here. Bring your camera because if you do see something, I'd love to see if this rumor is true or not. Again, I'm not perpetuating anything. It's been uh, the rumor around this area for a long time. This is Marlboro Township in Ohio, uh, kind of between uh, Alliance and Hartville, Ohio, if you're familiar with that. And this is the Peters Church Cemetery. Folks, thanks for watching. We're gonna be bringing you a lot of other interesting videos. If you find out this place is haunted, do you have any proof, please send it to me, let me know. Thanks a lot. Thanks for watching Todd Bosley's world famous YouTube channel.